Good afternoon, friends. Wait about 30 more seconds here for some people to join us. If you are joining me right now, you'll need two things, Bible or a brick, some sort of brick. So I'll wait a couple, a few more seconds for some more people to join us. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Lynn, Diane. Wait here a few more seconds for some people to join us. Hi, Pam. While you're waiting, while we're waiting here, two things you'll need today. A Bible, whether it's on your phone or device or an actual Bible, flip pages. Need a brick. If you can get a brick, that'd be great. Run and grab one quick. Come on back in. Careful, don't strain yourself lifting that. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeff. I am one of the pastors here at River Heights Vineyard Church. Thank you for joining us this afternoon for our afternoon devotion time. We are leading you through the Stations of the Cross this week. This is Holy Week the week leading up to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And two things you're going to need today uh, for our station, and that is a Bible so you can read through the scripture with me. And then also, if you have a brick at home, grab a brick. We're going to be looking at uh, what, what do we do with a brick? What's that for? So grab yourself a brick if you can. That would be great. Um, the Stations of the Cross Typically, we do those on Good Friday. However, with not being able to meet in groups, we are taking our devotion time this week. It actually worked out great that we're able to do these during the week to give you what Jesus experienced through the entire week uh, leading up to his death and resurrection. So I am honored to be able to lead you through today's station, which is station number two. Uh, Justin led us through station number one earlier this morning, which was fantastic. Uh, my station number two is Jesus takes up his cross. So as before we read the scripture, I'd like to, to pray for us. So Holy Spirit, would you come? Bless our time here together as we open up your word. Show us um, just a picture of a glimpse of what you went through. Help us to understand um, the things you want us to understand and need to understand this week. Father, we thank you for your word that comes alive to us. Bring to the forefront in our minds what it is you're trying to tell us through your word. In Jesus' name, amen. We are going to look at Luke chapter 9 and Matthew chapter 10. If you want to turn in your Bibles or click on the app. Uh, we're going to read Luke chapter 9, verses 22 to 24, and Matthew chapter 10, verses 37 to 39. Again, as we do these um, stations in Scripture, this is what Jesus experienced and the things that he said, the things that he went through. So try to remember that this week as, you know, when we're done with our devotion time, you can take these questions. You can take, because what we're going to do is we're going to read Scripture we're going to have a time where there's questions and you can give you about 30 seconds to really think through these questions because some of them are pretty heavy to think through. And you're going to probably have to do it and think through it even after we're done here at this time. And you'll think through them during the day. Um, and then there'll be an action at the end, something that you can do um, as well. And I'll be doing it at home too. So I'm doing the same things you are. Um, so let's read. Let's read the scripture together. Luke chapter 9, verses 22 to 24. I am reading the New Living Translation. It says this, The Son of Man must suffer many terrible things, he said. He will be rejected by the elders, the leading priests, and the teachers of religious law. He will be killed, but on the third day he will be raised from the dead. Then he said to the crowd, 
If any of you wants to be my follower, you must turn from your selfish ways to keep up your cross and take up your cross daily and follow me. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake, you will save it. Matthew chapter 10, verses 37 to 39. <clears throat> if you love your father or mother more than you love me, you are not worthy of being mine. Or, if you love your son or daughter more than me, you are not worthy of being mine. If you refuse to take up your cross and follow me, you are not worthy of being mine. If you cling to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for me, you will find it. A couple things to think through. A few questions. Because scripture can really weigh heavy on us. So God, would you, would you just show us as we go through these next questions, God, will you just show us through the passage and through our own life what we need to really see? Question number one. And you may want to, you may want to, here's the thing is you may want to just close your eyes, raise up your hands, close your eyes, open your hands up and just receive. But, but think about these questions. What does it mean for you to deny yourself and take up your cross to follow Jesus? What does that mean for you? What does that look like for you to deny yourself and take up your cross to follow Jesus? I'll give you about 30 seconds to think about that. Here's another question. What things make it hard for you to take up your cross and follow him? Why is it so hard to pick up that cross? And follow him. Something along those lines is what things in your life must you lose to find life? Have you been carrying your cross a long time? In your reflection time, what is God bringing to your mind? What is the Holy Spirit saying to you? Is it pride? Is it selfishness? Is it um, anger, resentment? I don't know. That's between you and the Holy Spirit. But what does, it, what does it look like for you to deny yourself and take up the cross and follow him? What things in your life must you lose to find it? And have you been carrying that cross a long time? I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds to really talk to God and, and maybe listen to where you're at with him today. There is, um, in our stations, there are things to do. My station is a brick. So if you have a brick at home, 
in the stations, you would pick up the brick and you would carry it with you throughout the stations. But I don't think you want to carry this brick around with you at home, although you could, and especially maybe even with kids, uh, put it in a backpack and have them carry it around. Um, it's an idea. Or grandkids. But I would suggest this, because this brick symbolizes your cross. Now, granted, this brick isn't too heavy. It's not that bad. But if you had to carry it around every day, all day, like if we had to go to work and carry it around at work, you'd be like, well, I don't want to carry this brick around. It's causing me problems. Well, this is your cross to carry. This is the symbol of your cross. And so my, what I would suggest is this. Take a brick. You may not have one right now, but get a brick and set it out somewhere where you walk by it every day this week. Maybe it's on a table, an end table, coffee table, um, however you want to do that. But put that brick there to remind you to deny yourself and take up the cross of Christ every day. Because I know there's another passage that says his burden is lighter than our own. So grab this brick, set it out somewhere to remind you, to remind every one of you to take, deny yourself and take up the cross daily. God bless you guys, and I really pray that these stations are a blessing to you. God bless, and have a great day.